This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents, we've got ourselves a little September asteroid swarm. So yeah. Alright, great news. It is time to bring out the incoming baby. Everybody loves that kid. And he is way cooler than the E-Trade baby. We got a bunch of incoming asteroids. A swarm. Remember, a swarm, a swarm won't hurt you. Like, if you get swarmed by bees, a swarm doesn't hurt. Now, if those bees sting you, yeah. Especially if you got a swarm of bees stinging you, then they can get hurt. But a swarm itself is, you know, it's not bad. So, yeah, we've got a swarm of September asteroids. Maybe they're done. It was just like a little family of asteroids. We got 2013 RO5, which passed by on the 1st of September. Then there was 2013 RG3. I mean, passing by on September 3, and that one was only 0.6 lunar distance. That was tiny. It was only 6 meters. Shit, I think I'm 6 meters tall. I don't know. Who thinks in meters? I'm gonna have to get me a meter to foot calculator. And then yesterday, we had 2013 RZ5 pass 1.1 lunar distances away. And today, we will have 2013 quantitative easing 16 pass by, but it'll be kind of far. It'll be 8.2 lunar distances. And then tomorrow, we have 2013 RQ5, which will be 4.8 lunar distances, and it's 27 meters. Now this chart has been clear for a while. There hasn't been much potentially hazardous asteroid activity going on. And then all of a sudden the chart lit up. Like the, and then you got the Big Daddy coming in November 10th. It's pretty far away though, 49.1 lunar distances. The Dark Knight 79, found in the year 2000. But it is 3.2 kilometers big, and that is big. That's what she said. I couldn't. That's so, man. Anyway, you may say, big deal. But here's the thing I find most interesting. All right? Are you ready? You ready for the jackpot surprise? Well, it is coming your way, Francis. 2013 RO5 was found on the 1st of September and then passed right by, passed by Earth on the 1st. RG13, they found that on the 2nd. And guess what? RG3 passed by 0.6 lunar distances on the 3rd. But what about RZ5? Out of all the asteroids, RZ sounds like the funnest one to hang out with. They found RZ on the 2nd, and RZ5 passed by on the 4th. My dogs need to shut up. It's hard to record audio with you guys yippity yapping. Asteroid 2013 Quantitative Easing 16. They found that one on the 29th of August. It passed by on the 5th. Good old RQ. RQ5. They found that one on the 1st, and it passes by on the 6th. So that is one, two, three, four. So they've pretty much found five potentially hazardous asteroids in the last six days. One was 0.6 lunar distances between. And if you look at their orbits, man, they're coming in in a group almost. It seems like, wouldn't you agree? You don't have to agree. I mean, you can all disagree and shit and stuff. That's what semi-freedom is about. Now, if we look at that big mama, Dark Knight 79, 2000, one thing you'll notice is its weird orbit coolness. We'll check out Ceres and Vesta Eris and Meg Meg and Ison because what it's, it's it's what I like to do. Alright now we're just looking at orbitals and a Bibli Babylon. So we'll see if more of these are popping up. And it's funny if you check over at the Minor Planet Center they're a little behind. They're a little way behind. All right, cool. Man, I wish they had some program on here that you could run all these at once. Because then you could just see them all coming in. Like a, like a shotgun blast or something. Or like if somebody threw, you know, five rocks in, in one handful or catapulted or whatever. All right, sweet. September swarm of asteroids. Let's see if more keep coming. And hey, if you're if you're an asteroid hunter, like my ex-crush, Amy Mains, or I kind of keep looking in the area where all those asteroids are coming. They're kind of coming from the same place. You know? So keep looking out in that area. That's what I'm telling you. That's, that's my idea. Okay? Do what I can to help. Look at them all bunched together and just barely missing Earth. It's like our government has a repulsion neutron tracker beam. And somehow they get it up to 44.1 gigawatts, gigawatts, or whatever it wants. The E-Trade baby is a total Illuminati sellout. I submitted my idea to NASA on how to stop asteroids from hitting the Earth and tearing it apart like an egg yolk, like an egg shell with the yolk all 
dripping out. What you do is you give me a spacesuit and a hot scientist girlfriend, and then I go punch the asteroid in the nuts. Coming to Earth, I just punch it in the nuts, and it'll do what everybody does when you punch them in the nuts. It'll like buckle straight over and fall to the ground. Okay, cool. Well, make makes pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna make make myself a drink and get out of here. Man, it is so cuddling time, and my pillows they mock me. Maybe it's not really a swarm so much as a wolf pack of asteroids. Do you think more asteroids are coming? I'm gonna asteroid on her face. What? All right, I gotta end it now. I'm just spinning off into the absurd whatever. I think I've got one more funny thing in me. One more. Uh, no, I don't. Shucks. Dang it. Amy, I miss you. All right, peace out. God bless. Later.